Why would you choose to be not sustainable? Why would you opt to be not sustainable? There is no logic for it. My name is Wilhelmer Hilmar Sigurdarsson and uh, I'm a chef. We have a restaurant here in the center of Ghent called Souvenir. We've been uh, running for the last nine years. I'm kind of known for working with a lot of vegetables. Well, we here in Belgium and Flanders, we are exceptionally lucky with the quality of produce that's available to us. We have a, a strong network of very passionate farmers who have an incredible amount of quality, an incredible dedication to their their work, their, their, their craftsmanship. We have this relationship, we have these people, these, these talents, these massive talents in what they do. The passion there, it's so rich, and the quality of produce that they bring is so high that it makes our work much easier. The more time you spend talking to people about what does it mean to be sustainable, a lot of people have this anxiety that oh, working sustainable, yeah, and all that, it's heavy, it's hard, it's so complicated, it's so difficult. On the contrary, it is not. I believe it's the way forward for our craft as cooking. I think it gives our what we do a greater value and a greater worth. I think it makes what we do more interesting. And I think that showing people in the restaurant what is what you can achieve, what you can make with what many people might find very humble, very uninspiring produce, for instance, like a carrot, it shows a lot of uh, spirit and it inspires people hopefully to also reevaluate how they approach their own consumption pattern. Obviously like Flam as an institution and Lack of Ambiance are household names that have been very closely uh, connected to sustainability and trying to promote uh, Korteketen and local sourcing of ingredients and a little bit more seasonal of uh, consumption. And I think this is a fantastic initiative. It's a necessary initiative. 